welcome to the Step 1 Review Study Guide, and in this lesson, we learn about collagen, the types of collagen, synthesis, and structure. Collagen is the most abundant protein in the human body. It functions to strengthen the extracellular matrix as well as organize it. There are four types of collagen. Type 1 makes up bone, skin, and tendon. Type 2 composes the cartilage. Type 3 makes up the reticulum, and type 4 makes up the basement membrane. Be so totally cool, read books. Let's go over these types in a little more detail. Type 1 composes 90% of bone and is the most common type of collagen. The cells that make the bone are osteoblasts. <laughs> type 1 collagen makes skin and tendon, but also dentin, fascia, and the cornea. In osteogenesis, in Perfecta type 1, there is a decreased production of type 1 collagen. Type 2 makes up the cartilage, including the hyaline cartilage, vitreous body, which is the clear fluid in the eye, and the nucleus pulposus. The nucleus pulposus is a jelly-like substance in the vertebrae that withstands compression and torsion. Type 3 composes the reticulum, which includes the skin, blood vessels, uterus, and fetal tissue. An uncommon vascular type, Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, type 3 collagen is deficient. Type 4 collagen composes the basement membrane, more specifically, the basal lamina, which is the layer of the extracellular matrix secreted by the epithelial cells it sits on. Remember that type 4 is under the floor. In Alaport syndrome, type 4 collagen is defective. And in Good Pastor syndrome, the host cells target type 4 collagen by autoantibodies destroying the basement membrane. Let's go over synthesis. First, the collagen peptide sequence is glycine XY. It's produced in the rough ER. Collagen is one-third glycine, and X and Y are proline or lysine. Proline and lysine content can vary. Next, specific proline and lysine residues are hydroxylated. This process requires vitamin C. A lack of vitamin C will lead to scurvy. A hydroxyproline assay is a good candidate for collagen quantification because it can be found almost exclusively in collagen. It can be reacted to produce a chromophore that can be quantified via absorbance. Now, an individual chain of collagen called the pro-alpha chain are glycosylated at hydroxylysine residues. Three alpha chains then come together via hydrogen bonds and disulfide bridges into a triple helix. If they cannot come together into a triple helix, this leads to a condition called osteogenesis imperfecta. The triple helix is then exocytose from the cell into the ECM. As the procollagen helix floats around the ECM, enzymes then come to cleave the ends that are rich in disulfide bonds. This creates an individual insoluble collagen fiber unit called the tropocollagen. Many tropocollagens in the ECM are then cross-linked by enzymes containing copper called lysol oxidases. They covalently link lysine to hydroxylysines to create the final collagen fibril. If the organism is unable to cross-link, this results in Menke's disease. That's all for this lesson of Step 1 Review. We'll see you in the next video.